of course, we all no recognize this setup with the VR chat and all that. Yeah. But that's not really what the impressive part. The more impressive part is this. Here, let me just play this and see what we get. Here we go. Oh, sh it's cool. I am yep. a meta human. The next generation of digital human. Dude. I know. <laughs> meta humans are this is what I'm trying out. Characters created by you, the user. On our new content creation platform. <laughs> what do you think of this creator. tech so far? I am fully rigged. Ready for animation and motion. It's cool. Now, what the f***? That's, that's nice. As you can see, although this looks like I probably could have paid an actor to kind of pose like this, what if I told you that this is all CGI and this act and this character over here or this model is not even a real person, but someone I actually designed using MetaHuman or the maker coming from Unreal Engine, so literally looks like I could have just hired this person to pose and such but this is all in fact done in real time another way to use the metahuman creator you can just go somewhere like unreal engine then you can definitely go and to the marketplace type in something like uh, let's see here you just type in metahuman or something like that and I just go from there search and then after that surely it'll give you all this crap but it would look something more like this for instance that would be just one of the projects but what you really need is the plugin so we'll just go to make sure it's on code plugins and then we just look at for meta and you just install it on your engine but since I've already have it installed it, it'll show this but if it's not installed you just install it on pick your engine and there you go that's about it so this is something you can use for let's say offline use it has all the necessary features you need and it's also supported by the engine's version 5.0 this is pretty much the one that i'm going to be using to demonstrate this demo as you can see this is all done entirely using the meta human creator which is basically at the time of this recording I'm actually using it from the website so I have the early access permissions and such so as you can tell I can just switch through different scenes and the character is just still there reacting or just doing what it's doing best <laughs> this one's like a silhouette if you want to give your characters a sense of mystery and such and giving all these different scenes so there's that so these are all the different scenes here different lighting and this is the portrait and let's see how it looks like on this one like she's going in a club or something and of course this is what it looks like in a rooftop in the matrix uh, demo and such and the downtown night and underpass night well in other words all this can be rotated and whenever you rotate the background, the lighting also acts accordingly. Let's try the portrait and let's rotate the light on this one. Now, this is the same model 
button low poly. Now let me change it up a bit. As I slowly increase the quality. As a better way to demonstrate that this is an actual 3D model. As hard as it is to believe, this is in fact a 3D model. So pretty much this is more of a preview of things to come and a couple of other things that needs to be worked on. So even though I have access to the MetaHuman creator until I can perfect how this character looks to make it more believable. It'll be a matter of time until I can actually master this tool. But other than that, this is as far as I, I've pretty much gone so far. And you can obviously tell the difference between these two models and such. Now to figure out how to link my face movements as well as the eye movements, mouth movements. I may need some kind of a rigging for the mouthpiece so I can make the character speak and probably a voice changer just to give it a more believable sounding voice. But other than that, these are just the results. I got all kinds of ideas on what can I do with this, however, once I gain the time and somewhat of the skill to kind of take the time to sit down and actually learn how any of this works, maybe I can use it to catfish people on Omega and such. Plus, a voice changer that actually works will do the job. There are so many things that I couldn't mention on this video, but I'll bring it up in another update or whatnot. Till then, this is LR7. Try now this metahuman creator from the Unreal Engine website and maybe trying out the plugin when I get around it and logging out.